Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on fractions, decimals and percentages. So in this video we're going to cover how to convert between fractions, decimals and percentages. So we'll go both ways. Uh, we'll start with looking at fractions first, converting to, dec to decimals and then percentages. Uh, so let's say we've got a fraction, we'll start off simple, we'll have a half and we want to convert this to a decimal. Well how do we convert to a decimal? Uh, well, we treat this um, fraction as a divide, or this line in the fraction as the divide symbol. Uh, so effectively what we're doing is 1 divided by 2, and 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. So as a decimal, 1 half is equal to 0 0.5. And then if we want to convert this to a percentage, we just times by 100. So we're moving the decimal point two spaces to the right here, uh, which gives us 50%. So let's have a look at another example now. What if we have a fifth? So again, we treat the line in the fraction as a divide symbol. So we're doing one divided by five, which gives us 0 0.2. And then we times by 100 if we want to get this decimal as a percentage, and that gives us 20%. So that's how you convert from a fraction to a decimal to a percentage. So what about if we want to go the other way? So before we were going from a fraction to a decimal to a percentage. Now let's look at going from percentage to a decimal to a fraction. So let's start off with an example of 79%. How are we going to convert this to a decimal? Uh, well, before, when we were going from a decimal to a percentage, we multiplied by 100. So here we're going to have to divide by 100, and that gives us 0 0.79. Now, in order to write this as a fraction, uh, what we're going to have to do is write this over 1. So anything divided by 1 is just the same thing. Uh, so at the moment, we've just got 0 0.79 over 1. And then what we're going to do is multiply top and bottom so that's the numerator and the denominator by 10. So that gives us 7.9 over 10. And then we'll do the same thing. So we'll multiply top and bottom by 10, and that gives us 79 over 100. So this is now as a fraction. So that's how to go from a percentage to a decimal to a fraction. But you might see some more complicated examples where you get recurring decimals. And we do have a separate video on how to convert a recurring decimal to a fraction. Uh, but let's just have a look at some key examples that you should be aware of. So for instance, if we start with a percentage, uh, let's have 33.3 .3 recurring as a percentage. So as a decimal, this is equal to 0.3 recurring. And as a fraction, this is equal to one third. And likewise, let's use 66.6 .6 recurring as a percentage. And that's as, as a decimal, that is equivalent to 0.6 recurring, which is a fraction is two thirds. So these are just some a couple of examples that you should be aware of. Uh, but as I say, if you want to convert any recurring decimal to a fraction, then we do have a separate video which goes through how to how to do that. If you're feeling good on this topic and you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. So here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at. So there's a variety of different question types as well, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of keeping track of where your weaknesses are and where you can improve. So if you're feeling confident and ready to take the test, then click the link below.